Yes, today we are discussing professional issues, looking at how to, you know, there's the other side of publicity and uh, managing brands, making them bold out there for you to see and get the message from it. The brains behind such gargantuan presentation where you see pillars, massive billboards here and there. They call it outdoor advertising. Wow. And um, when you say something is an outdoor, yes, it, 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 it speaks for itself. It's the matter of doing it outside for the world to see. Now, there are technicalities involved, but that's not just what we're talking about. We're t- discussing issues relating to international associations coming together, being hosted by Nigeria, and of course, also in the spate of what's going on around us, how we're managing our businesses and how we're managing our professionals and our visitors. We have two very powerful, (laughs) very, very powerful individuals in the profession. And I call them our big men in the profession because we cannot do without them. But very soon, you'll meet them. (laughs) Mr. Charles Chijide, Chijide, Chijide. Yes, now you know why I was trying to (laughs) look for the name. And Mr. Kole Ademulegum. Charles Chijide is the president of the Outdoor Advertising Association of West Africa and of Nigeria. So he's a double barrel president. And then, of course, we also have Mr. Kole Ademulegum, who uh, is the chairman of the organizing committee, an immediate past president. Wow. Mr. President, you're welcome, sirs. You know, in the United States, the current president is Mr. President. The past president is Mr. President. But we know who has the power. <laughs> So, gentlemen, you're very welcome. And, of course, we also have the general manager of uh, the association, um, Mrs. Chidi Ibiam. I know Chidi Ibiam, Ibiam very well. Uh, no, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> so, let's just go straight to the point and uh, why we are here. Mr. President, you want to sort of, you know, uh, throw more light about the whole association and receiving foreign professionals? Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, I'm really glad to be here. And uh, I want to use the opportunity to thank the Inspiration FM for partnering with us in this uh, epic uh, event. Um, the award that is coming up, Poster Award, is uh, the eighth poster edition of uh, the Poster Award that started in 1997. Okay. And um, the Outdoor Advertising Association of Nigeria taught of this award because I uh, want to be able to reward creativity. Um, all those people that create this big advert you see along the streets, uh, to be able to reward them so that they will continue to think out of the box mm. of how to um, give consumers opportunity to have choices mm. of the new brands in town. And uh, this is a way of uh, contributing to the development of the society because uh, through that creativity you're able to know that you have options when you want to make purchases hmm. okay all right and uh, when is the event specifically the event is coming up on the 15th that is uh, this coming thursday um okay. at echo le meridian and um, that would be a co hotel, a co hotel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if it's the president shows uh, how old we have become, <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. So okay. it's going to be there. We're going mm. to have a breakfast section on that 15th morning, okay. Um, then the exhibition will follow. Then in the afternoon, we'll now start uh, the award proper, okay. So just it's just the award. Or there are other events. Mr. Atemilekun, you are the chairman organizing committee, yes. Thank you very much, Sonny. It's actually going to be the award later part of the day, the okay. breakfast, which is one introduction that yes. is being brought into the management of this uh, event for the first time. Okay. We found out there was a need for our publics to interact with us some more. We wanted them to come in a very serene environment. Tell us what is required. What more do they expect from us? And it's an opportunity we're having foreign visitors, Hmm. like the president of the World 
Outdoor Advertising Association is coming. Okay. So we want to we want to hear from him. We want to learn from him. We're also respecting people from the states. Also, uh, the uh, president's immediate uh, catchment area, which is uh, West Africa, will also be around. And uh, I think it's it's an opportunity. Uh, shortly after that, we'll have the exhibition. Some of our suppliers and service providers will exhibit, tell us what they have for you know uh, the years ahead. Uh, that takes us into the um, red carpet, everybody says. But I say our colors are blue and yellow. So it probably would be a yellow carpet. <laughs> and from there, we go on to the uh, event proper, which is presentation of awards to those creative guys that have been very, very, very good mm -hmm. in creating materials for the use on the medium. Well, let me just digress a little bit by focusing more on the essence of the, the, advertising, the outdoor advertising uh, the way it has become lately. You know, it used to be just the standard billboard, which is so small. But these days, it's so dramatic. In fact, you've taken over advertising, as it were. It's so dramatic, it's so massive, with all the skyscraping you know, structures. Can somebody just throw light on how you came about that revolution? Because it's really a revolution in the industry. Yes. Um, you know, we're a developing economy, a developing country. Yes. We're not yet there. And um, in any developing economy, everything is looking up to developed economy. If you go travel to developed economy like US, Europe, you will see this type of skyscrapers um, displays. Mm -hmm. And uh, because of that, we keep looking up, you know, you, you, you look up to good things. Okay. And we travel far and wide, attend conferences and uh, for the fact that we're members of FEPE, the World uh, Outdoor Association, yeah. uh, we get to hear reports from America, president, um, outdoor, uh, out of home advertising president. We have presentation from out of home in Asia and Europe. And from there, we see the, the type of displays that they're having there. And uh, because we are moving very fast, we want to also bring that type of development to our economy and our brands. That's why we decided to bringing those things, those displays we have outside the country to this particular uh, country so that we all will uh, have that world-class structures mm -hmm. and allow our brands that happens to be interconnected because of uh, the affiliations we have to also have the type of exposure mm -hmm. that they have in the developed economy in our own country. And mm -hmm. that is actually what has made me to think of our uniting the West Africa through the ECOWAS protocol Okay. and see that this type of display goes across the board. So that when we're presenting in FEPE, we present something that is similar to what Americans have presented. Mm -hmm. And they will understand that our economy is growing. Our economy is not just thinking of starch or paper that we used to do in those days. Now we've gone to using flexes like they used there, LEDs, the displays you see along the street. And so they don't just look at us as people are backward. They all look at uh, the black people that are still in this particular old age. We have given them a run for their money by bringing in the type of structures they have in our own uh, society. Uh, Though uh, we have the problem of, of infrastructure, mm. but we're managing through generator, mm. and you can imagine <laughs> <laughs> what will be born in Managing through must, generator. Yes, I like because, that. Uh, you <laughs> must, uh, because of the developed economy, they have mm. yeah, infrastructure that is in, in perfect shape, so they don't just have to buy diesel like we do buy here now. But we must have two generators running 12, 12 hours to be able to actually give that type of display they have. Oh, any time you have a display, there are yeah. generators running 12, 12 hours. Yes. Yes. So you have a 24-7. Yes. yes. Wow. Wow. Now, it's that's a, quite a tasking, isn't it? Yes. How does that affect the economic um, yeah, exactly. intention of the... That is part of what we are I'll actually uh, pleading... Uh, or appealing to the government to understand when they're talking about their taxes, mm. uh, that we are doing a wonderful job. One, not only giving opportunity for consumers to see options, mm. we are also helping to eliminate black spots around the country. Because where we put this um, illuminated sign like uh, the LED, there won't be black spots. Criminals will not have anywhere to hide mm. because it's uh, actually bright and the place has been... Uh, 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 made a, a place that you cannot really hide anymore. Okay. So with this, you should know that we're contributing somehow uh, to helping to eliminate um, any criminal in the uh, within the environment. No more dark or black spots anymore. 
and uh, we, something should be done by reducing the rates that they charge us. Ah, okay. If I was going to say, how do you also have to cope with the? Because I, I, from what I'm hearing and seeing. It has beautified the environment. There's no doubt about that. Thank you. But it must also come with some stifling laws. Yes. How are you coping with that? <laughs> well, we're actually appealing. <laughs> the, way, uh, <laughs> the, the way that side came. <laughs> yes. Actually, let me put it this way, Sonny. The government is making profit and we're not making profit. So How? to say, yes. Mm. Because the government charges, like he said, is mm. becoming nearly unbearable okay and what it does is eating into the bottom line yeah. that is that is a problem it goes straight into the bottom line and at the end of the day it's like a near loss situation for outdoor advertising companies but like i said we're engaging every government agency okay we're making them see reason and we're saying we're delivering a service without us the environment won't be interesting hmm. Imagine Lagos without billboards. Imagine mm. you coming into Muritala Mohammed International Airport and there's no sign. Saying, no welcoming sign. There, there isn't a sign. So it means that the economy is not moving. Mm. It means the products you have, there are no choices. So we're appealing and we will continue to appeal. Well, one thing I try to do when, you know, observations like these are made, uh, what I do is I try to balance the equation, if possible, by inviting, you know, um, representatives of government to also probably give their own side of the story. But from the little I know, I know there was an attempt to, you know, sort of sanitize, using their word now, um, the what what appeared to have been the um, overcrowding of the environment. I think both of you must have worked hand in hand on that because yeah. what, what we are seeing looks good. But did you, have you been discussing over time with them to the extent that they are not listening to you or what? Uh, discussing with government, you know, it's like uh, discussing with a paymaster. Huh. The government is the master, okay. the way it seems, in this okay. um, environment we're operating. Yes. But we're trying as much as possible to also... You, 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 you're right, because uh, at a point in time on Ikorodu Road, yeah. as long or short, quote and unquote, mm. we had 701 billboards. Would you believe that? Are you serious about I that? I am very serious. Wow. It was, it was, it was a sight. And uh, government legislation, this uh, environment ministry, everybody became concerned. Hmm. And we met. We agreed. The progress achieved so far is as a result of series of meetings and negotiations. Okay. We've achieved that. Okay. But from 701 that you were making this little... You can't make this much from, say, five, six, mm. which would add value to the environment. Okay. So we're saying, yes, we've lost so much because of the clutter we have. Now we're coming to a sane environment, bringing in new ideas. But please understand that you shouldn't kill this business with taxes. How are your clients taking all of this? Because it appears also that there will be... <laughs> I'm going to ask a mischievous question to this effect, you know. Sometimes I, I see, okay, so I see me, I'm your client, and uh, I ask for a billboard. There will be an amount, okay? It looks like it's not negotiable because it is a rate. How do you manage that? How do the clients respond to that? Mr. President? You see, I'm calling you Mr. President. <laughs> um, thank you very much, Sonny. Just like you understand the economy, when the cost is high, definitely... Um, the customers or the clients will have uh, a, a look for P another option where yeah. to go to sell mm -hmm. the brand mm -hmm. and uh, we've been trying to manage them and that's why we've been engaging the government to understand that uh, these clients we have we actually nurture them uh, over time and uh, we they want value for their money and if we charge too much mm -hmm. uh, tax on a product it will also go back to the cost of that product Okay. And the clients, they have options. Occasionally, they will say, no, we will find another way to do it. We can do it without you. And then the economy that you come in without, uh, out, out of home, it means that economy is sleeping. And uh, it means that the economy do not recognize that the populace need to be um, helped by giving them opportunity to see things and know that they have options. They have A, they have B, with the same content, but different costs. Hmm. So we... 
continue to um, engage the government because as soon as the government fees are down, we also go back to our clients and have our rates down. Okay. And the clients, yeah, okay, okay, sure, they talk to us that we should engage the government to understand the service we are providing for them and uh, for them to reduce their rate and encourage them. Because if I put in a factory in anywhere, in any country, I'm actually helping the, apart from me doing business, I'm actually paying taxes and helping the government. Okay, so we just take a short break now. Sunny Rabo live from Inspiration 92.3 FM. We are here with you. We have the Outdoor Advertising Association of West Africa. And of course, they are hosting the world. And we have Mr. President, I call him Mr. President, Charles Chijide. And of course, they have past president and chairman of the award committee, Mr. Kole Ademlego. And of course, the, the lady herself, General Managing Mata Chidi Ibiam, Mrs. Chidi Ibiam. They are with me, Sunny Rabo Live. On a day like this, we'll be talking issues about professions. Let's look first at the award. Can you enlighten me more about the award? The entry has closed, I believe. Or do they still have chance? Yeah. <laughs> so that we have. Do they still have chance? Okay. I, I I say the entries have closed. Okay. okay. But mm-hmm. should there be a need to give a consideration? Yes. I'm sure the panel of judges will so decide. So when is deadline? Can anybody bring in in the next 24 hours? Uh, because t- I can maybe, see people who are tempted. Maybe <laughs> Tuesday will be the cutoff. Okay. That's the max. All right. So if you are if you're creative and if you're gifted and you're uh, aware, you're conscious, you're knowledgeable about outdoor advertising and you want to send in entries what what, what are the what, what's the um the uh, requirement by the way the requirement is the material must have been a material exposed in 2013 okay in any of the categories okay and you're so free to send it with a token of ten thousand naira only aha all right mrs ibiam i haven't heard your voice at all as the only lady in the pack so your role would be what well, um, the entries who yeah. had said had closed, mm-hmm. I ch- he said we could still make room for more entries. Okay. If only the judges will accept. accept. Yes. Okay. But looking at the general picture of things, can you throw more light about your role? Um, the entries we got were quite exciting, mm-hmm. very exciting. And they covered uh, about eight categories. We had nine categories. Nine. Okay. Well, unfortunately, we didn't get any from pharmaceutical. Pharmaceutical yes, advertising. Oh, yes, okay, that's true. Gaming. They also do. <laughs> yes. But there's no broadcast advertising, is there? Not bro- <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to <laughs> say, maybe Inspiration should do a billboard quickly <laughs> <laughs> and, and backdate it to 2013. Well, okay. it could. It could Sorry, don't try that too. That's against the law, please. Too, <laughs> you know. Okay. All right. Now, um, let's look at hosting the world. You know, we just finished with the World Economic um, what that Forum or something like that. And uh, now we're hosting outdoor advertising. How prepared are you? We're very prepared. We have uh, put every uh, structure in place to receive them and um, assure them that uh, Lagos is safe. Amen and to that. that um, everything uh, with our wonderful uh, governor, uh, Lagos seems to always uh, almost be the safest place now in Nigeria. So mm. uh, we've reassured them that there will, everything will go well. Mm. Right from the airport to the hotel and throughout their stay, uh, they will be well uh, taken care of. Amen to that. Mm. Okay. All right. Uh, you're expecting some dignitaries. Who are they? Uh, we're expecting the Honorable Minister, Labaran Marco. Okay. That will be of information. Yes, to, to, grace, to grace the occasion. Okay. We're expecting the governor of Lagos State. As usual, he's a host governor. Okay. And uh, also, the, he's also a patron of the uh, association. Mm-hmm. We're also expecting another patron, the Akwai Bomb State governor, mm-hmm. to be with us. Mm-hmm. The president of FEPE is coming. The Senate president on uh, the chairman Senate committee on information mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is coming. That's mm-hmm. Senator Abaribe. Okay. We're also expecting the Chairman House Committee on Information. Mm-hmm. We're expecting Senator Ayogweze. We're expecting the likes of Ashafa. We're expecting our professional colleagues, mm-hmm. Akin Odrusi. Okay, yeah, who's nice. Senator. Oh, <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah. Solomon Ewuga as well. Solomon Ewuga is coming. Uh-huh. And uh, a host of others. Okay. In addition to the Captain of Industries who are here in Lagos mm-hmm. and spread all over. Okay. 
Right. I, I look at advertising, outdoor advertising specifically, as um, a very powerful medium of expressing, you know, what you have and what the, you want the public to, to come to terms with in terms of patronage and all of that. Would you say the business has been buoyant enough for you over the years? Sonny, I will say if it is if if it isn't buoyant, I won't be here. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You put it how many years now? Thirty-five years. Thirty-five. In outdoor. Wow. You're going to that add some true. more years to mm-hmm. mainstream advertising. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we've been here. Hmm. It means outdoor advertising. Yes, is a good business. Hmm. It's profitable. I won't say quite profitable, but it is profitable. And you know advertising, if you make a little margin, you're comfortable. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that is us. Mm-hmm. We're not looking for the moon. Mm-hmm. If we get the stars, we're okay. But the fact also is that you, you, you add fire, as I always say, to that uh, burning candle. The, the, the flame is higher and you see a lot more. But uh, I would like to see outdoor advertising as, you know, having taken the shine more creditably no, maybe I shouldn't use that word because it's not intended to demean any other but more uh, profitably than the other ad- uh, fire sites of advertising. Would you agree to that? Mr. Chijide? <laughs> yes, if we are keeping about 80% of the budget mm-hmm. and somebody is keeping less than uh, about 20% we must say that we are doing pretty well that if is very loaded. <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, we're trying, we're trying. We, we, we can say we are really trying. It depends on uh, the data. If uh, you are to uh, research into uh, the effects of the medium you're using, yes, you actually be able to know that um, we are actually doing uh, wonderfully well. Mm. Because this only medium where you don't pay to see, mm-hmm. um, it is free, and um, you live most of your life out of home. Mm. You live in the morning, uh, about six o'clock in the morning. You went through the highway to the office. You stay in the office for about one hour. You go out again for a break. You are going to do that outdoor. You enter any restaurant. You see out of home. At the end of the day, you get home maybe about six or seven in the evening. What time do you have to do any other thing? You mm. see, you leave most of us uh, life generally is out of home. Mm. And that is why we should appreciate what we're doing because um, we're giving a lot of displays free for you while the, uh, the, 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 the manufacturers pay for the services of giving the opportunity to the consumers to have options and see mm. their brands. Mm-hmm. And um, I believe that um, what we are doing is actually more impactful than uh, most of the medium. What I find fascinating is those structures. Now, what, how much? Do you, when I say how much, I mean in terms of planning, design. What do you put into it? It's like building a whole house. There's architecture there. There's what else? There's can, yes. Let me let me give you uh, a near scary scenario. Yes. From start to finish, mm. a particular product, interactive digital, illuminating Mm. and you want a double sided in a particular size, Mm -hmm. Sony it may cost you about a million dollars. Just one? Just a double sided structure. I'm not joking. It could cost about a million dollars. So a million dollars, we're looking at 168.5 million naira. Oh yes. Good. Yes, okay. It can be that. It can be that. Uh, Are you much. sure I still want to be CEO of Inspiration? It's <laughs> 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 actually looking for the money. That's part of the problem. <laughs> okay, can I just be looking for the money for you? <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe you do that. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's quite a lot. It, it means, a lot. When, when I say a lot, I'm talking of a lot in terms of what you just said, you know. Because if it's taking that much money, it means the materials used. The structure design and the er- erection, yeah. all of those things. And you also said earlier that um, 12 hours generator yeah. that will go with diesel and the yeah. right kind of generator, which yeah. can break down. Yeah. And another 12 hours generator, all for one side. Yeah. Lord almighty. With diesel, you're going to add another 16 million naira. One wow. six. For one year. We have it on record. Hmm. And that goes for one year? It goes for one year. Wow. Do you think... 
Nigeria can cope with what's pressurizing it, the way things are. Yes, Nigeria can cope. Hmm. If people are interested in, you know, remember our population is uh, the, the 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 most populated uh, nation in uh, Africa, yeah. and um, every product that is to Nigeria. Hmm. If you want to sell your product, you want your product to actually uh, be known, you must go to Nigeria that has a bigger population. Hmm. There are countries I have traveled to uh, by virtue of being president for West Africa where even Lagos uh, could be divided into four to make a country. Hmm. And hmm. Uh, such, uh, you, you can see that the, what product are you going to sell to people of five million or six million? Hmm. But in a developing economy like Nigeria where we have so populated, you can imagine um, far north, east, west, marketing your product. You and that's why many people have actually tried in their in their products. Most of the telecoms are not that they've mm. actually gone well because their population is helping brands to grow. Yeah. Our population is helping is driving the economy. Uh, the, 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 the money is in this economy. Mm. All we need to do is be creative enough and that is what we're doing. We sit down as sort of whom a practitioner think of a location and the type of people, uh, the, the, the class of people that uh, takes that route. And we now come up with a structure that will en uh, endear the client hmm. and the consumer. Okay. And when we come up with just such idea, we expect the government to support us. Because it's, only, it's an individual concept. We thought of it hmm. and we'll come up with that structure. Then you should not just use things to kill us. Rather, support us. Hmm. If possible, give us a tax, holiday tax holiday for about one year because if I have deployed about uh, one million dollars in a location, hmm. it's not a joke. You the have to bank, break even. The bank has already taken my father's uh, birth certificate <laughs> and uh, my grandpa's uh, <laughs> uh, structure to be sure they yes. give it to me. And yes. when they give it to me, they are monitoring me hmm. to see how it will go. Hmm. And after putting all these things in place, it's expected that government will know you. I have created employment. I'm going to get an electrical engineer, ICT, uh, now going to get them in the office for them to sit and be monitoring and working, creating em employment for highly educated uh, 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 people mm. who are just come out of school. Mm. And with this, uh, people need to really, like it's done in the developed economy, giving a tax holiday because of this thing you're doing, nobody you have your payback period. Mm. Because for you to be able to have your payback period, it means you need about two years for you to be able to now say, yes, I have paid my loan and now I'm making and breaking even. And that does not stop you from paying staff salaries who are also going to pay their pay as you earn mm. through their salaries. Yeah. This does not stop you from paying your rent. Who is going to even pay for the land use? Mm. This does not stop you from paying your normal taxes, tax. which is a corporate tax. Mm -hmm. it, it goes on and on. And inside this, you see multiple... And there's VATO. Taxation. No, apart from that, you now have Mandatory. you now have federal minister of works will charge you. You now have federal minister of works highways will charge you. Inland water you have federal minister of works uh, lands will come. Inland waterways will come. Very soon we'll have airways <laughs> that will come also charge you. It is not done this way. We should be able to come together and know that these people, through their creativity, has made an opportunity, giving an opportunity for the economy for people to have taxes paid mm. for also the economy to grow we contribute to gdp because when all these things are paid at the end the economy is growing wow so we need encouragement please now do you have anything to say out there do you have questions start calling because these people you've never heard of them like this before they've never complained they're always putting things in perspective they're always beautifying the environment and they're always very creative and it costs an arm and a leg wow and anybody who's thinking of doing advertising and not knowing that there's a lot of things, a lot of money there, but the money is not yours. That's the problem. Is it? it is spent on the job. Okay. Hello. How are you? Hello. Good afternoon. Kone. Good afternoon. <laughs> Selma uh, I know uh, your voice. <laughs> hey, you caught me there. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes. Yeah, I've been listening to them, and um, I just want to ask, with all these uh, problems that have enumerated the face, mm. how much of collaboration have they done with the National Assembly in view of uh, helping them to make laws and then um, encourage them by way of uh, regulations that we supposedly that's a, that's cut down on the uh, cost. Mm, mm, thank mm. you. Okay, thank you, Ansela. Yeah. Did, did you hear that? 
Yeah. Yes. So what's your response to that? Yes, because of this multiple taxation, uh, in 2012, we had um, a, 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 a stakeholders meeting, Advertising Pressure Council of Nigeria mm. and UAN, ADO Advertising Association of Nigeria. Mm. We had uh, a conference in uh, Sheraton, and um, we discussed all these issues where we had um, the Senate, the Chairman on Information, uh, Baribe, was there, Senator Baribe. Okay. And many of them were brought together to show them what is going on, especially with this multiple taxation, that clients are even finding it difficult to come up. And uh, the, 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 the budget is going down <coughs> because the cost is too high for them to, um, to, to, to bear. Hmm. And they promise that um, we need to go in, go back, and uh, put our papers together and submit to uh, the National Assembly so that they can look into it. And as I'm talking to you now, we've gotten lawyers to uh, start uh, looking into this multiple taxation issue mm. so that we'll be able to uh, send in paper uh, to the National Assembly. Okay. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? This is fine, thank you. Yes. This is Timothy talking. This is Mercy, you said? Timothy. Timothy. Okay, go ahead, please. Yes. I want to thank those your invited guests. Yes. I would want to classify this as advertising, advertising. Advertising, advertising. Okay, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. But I only want to make them understand something. Yes. Um, there's tax rebates outside, countries outside Nigeria, because they do corporate social responsibility, charity, so and the rebate. rest. Okay. Um, the thing is, if you want the people, the Nigerian populace, to get up and um, get the government to listen to you, you have to advertise to the Nigerian populace and elicit their collective moral support okay. such that they can join you and say, this is what we want for a group of people who are bringing it to us at the free of charge. And that, they are, like now, I was oblivious of the fact that the light um, reduces crime. You have a lot of taxation, yes. all the rest. So you have to continue, not only now, I, I talked to um, Mr. Sonera about to keep inviting you so that you tell people, so that the whole world can see the benefits you are doing to the Nigerian population. And we can now, in rewarding you or in return, tell our government who we elected, reduce their taxation. Hmm. Even on YouTube or Facebook, what wow. is the voice of the people? Democracy is the government of the people, by the people, for the people. Thank you so much indeed. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, we have another caller. Hello. Hello. Uh, good afternoon, Uncle how, how are you? Um, I just want to like... Uh, What's your name? Voice on the issue of, uh, my name is Sandra. On okay. the issue of uh, multiple taxation. Yes. I'll give you an example. Okay. Hello. Yes, we're hearing you. Go ahead. For those of us that, uh, for those that uh, marine, uh, we say uh, taxes to Niwa, that is the Nigerian Indian Waterway. Mm -hmm. We say to Nimata, they take their fees and we say that of carbon tax as well. We say governments will come, the local governments will come. And I mean, a lot of taxes, and they don't really add any form of value. You know, that's where uh, each time I, 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 I engage them, I say, you don't really see them adding any form of value mm -hmm. you know, to what we are doing. And the cost of maintenance of this person is quite high. And they come with different forms of taxes. Sanitation will come, like we hmm. as well. Yeah. Yeah, apart from the local government and all the rest. Okay. You know, everybody coming with different types of money. And at the end of the day, it affects your bottom line. You go to the bank to borrow money to do business. And at the end of the day, break even is a problem. Hmm. So it's something that our National Assembly, they should pick it up and uh, see how you know, they can try and straighten out all of these issues. This is interesting. Your guys are doing a good job. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is interesting. It looks like everybody, you have the sympathy of the public already on this. Okay. What's your re reaction to the two comments made already? Yes. Let, me, let me take the CSR one. Okay. Uh, in addition to assisting the police force yes. and other agencies, we also do beautify the environment. Yes. Anywhere you see a standing structure, the garden yes. is beautified, is maintained by the O1 member company occupying that location. 
I see. We do that. You have to maintain it we as well. Have, we have to maintain. We have to plant. Mm -hmm. We have to weed. We have to ensure that the environment is safe. We have to trim trees. Mm -hmm. So many other things that we have to do to ensure that the environment is very, very... Okay. Now, I, I just look at some of these things. We'll take a short break very soon. Rufi, the fire. Yes. I, when I look at some of these things, I ask myself, mm, isn't government aware of the fact that they also need our help? But hold on to that question. I'll take this call. Hello. Yes, Augustine. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This one, they call me Augustine. So. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Uh, good I'm doing good. Fine. Right. Yes. Um, I'm actually a rookie in the industry. So okay. when I say rookie, obviously those are my big boss. But okay. I also want to say Lassa is not being helpful because you, interestingly, one of the boss of the boss of Lassa actually started from the industry also, mm -hmm. and you could see the person actually I don't want to use one thing the industry was also a part of the industry and it's even still a part of the industry. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it's so painful because it, when you see what Lassa does in Lagos and it's actually being replicated in other southwest states now. You can't do this, they want to charge this. You pay to the federal government, you pay to this, and the actual, in fact, when companies want to bring down costs, the first thing that suffers is advertising. And when they keep cutting down this, Glassa will also come and come and chop off your head. And I don't know what the industry is doing, what the professional, the senior ones in the industry are actually doing as per Lassa, the price is killing. I don't want to go into the details of how much they charge per billboard and all these things, but they obviously know better. And I can tell you, Lassa is not being helpful. And like they said, there's a need for a tax rebate. There's a need for some concessions for the industry to actually grow for the battle. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, um, Mr. Charles Chijide, now you have made observations that now the public is reacting to. What do you think we should be doing, you know, to help government? Is there anything else we ought to do to help government that they, we haven't done? I'm now beginning to feel in sympathy with you, and I'm saying, we, we, we. Government should appreciate what we're doing. Mm. And um, we, like what I have enumerated, you can see what we're passing through. Yes. But you see, we are in a situation where you have a master server relationship. Mm. You, what can you say? He has the, um, he, he has the yam. And he has the, uh, the, the knife. knife. Uh, he, if you complain too much, he will stop giving you. Uh, he refuses to cut for you anymore. We we have been actually managing situations since I became the president. I've been collaborating with all the stakeholders, mm -hmm. all the state agencies, local governments. Let them understand what we're passing through, the transitions we're facing, and uh, keep re-educating them on why it is important we collaborate has to it? have. We. Has anybody said anything about we will look into it? We may, maybe we will discuss with our authorities or yes, higher authorities. Yes, but, they not have in, but no return journey. No, not not. Gradually, we're we, we here and there. We're getting some people uh, living up to their promises. Some, like in um, Oyo State, we had a very uh, strong meeting with uh, the governor, hmm. uh, who sent a representative, uh, a chief of staff, hmm. and. Uh, at the end of our meeting, we came out in a win-win situation. Oh. Um, so there vacant, is there's there's some prospects. Yeah, there's some prospects. Fantastic. They, they, the rates, they agreed with our rates. They came in and they, they said, look, we want you to encourage more people to come to our side. Mm -hmm. um, uh, boss that are not carrying any advert, you don't need to pay um, much on it, just a little percentage. At least let's you start know, the business. Let's that start it so that we can okay. now move on. Okay. Uh, because you cannot pay what you did not earn. Okay, let's take this talk. Hello. Hello? Hello? Yes, how are you? Uh, hi, hi there. Okay, fine. I'm more interested in the off-grid applications, in uh, powering the billboards. Okay. And uh, like you said, where do we go to or who do we speak to? Okay, all right. Where? That's the, ox, you called it Oxbridge application? No, off-grid, off-grid. Off-grid, off -grid. Off -grid. Off -grid. okay. okay, okay. Off-grid, yeah, that's yes. non-NEPA. Non-NEPA. Non-NEPA, okay. <laughs> no, for this NEPA. Okay, yes, I go ahead. Yes, we have tried non-NEPA, off-grid. We went into solar yes. and so many other <laughs> non-regular form of power. 
But I must tell you, my brother, it's costing a lot of money and it hasn't really given much success. That's where we are. It's other generator, even the NEPA. The power isn't enough. The output isn't enough as prescribed by the structure manufacturers. Mm. So if you don't have the required uh, NEPA output, you you ruin, you damage the, uh, the, the equipment. The equipment. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, so what we're doing is trying as much as possible to see if there's going to be an alternative source that will take care of this problem. Even if it's yes. just for somebody has introduced a gas diesel kind of arrangement, we're looking into it, and some other propositions that we're also looking into to see, even if it takes 12 hours of diesel, it would be appreciated. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, there's another caller here. Hello. Uh, hello. Yes. yes. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Um, my name is Nii. Hi, Nii. Go ahead. I'm great. Uh, somebody actually asked about, uh, talk about Lhasa, because of Lhasa. I think that's very critical. Um, Lhasa is making more money than the petitioner. Wow. And something has to be done about that. Okay, so I don't know how they're going to do it. But I tell you, Lhasa is making a lot of money. Yes, I think your phone is too close to the speaker. Can you be further away? Okay. Yes. Uh -huh, go ahead. So, um, Lhasa is taking the money from from the particular because of, for example, talking about the uh, street light show, hmm. the amount that by the time we want to sell to a person, the amount they are willing to pay, you will see that the cost is high. Okay, right. So, especially what I think of this. I'm worried about the quality of the sound. Uh, yeah, okay, so it's off now. I didn't cut you off. I better mean, say that before you arrest me. The uh, line cut up by itself, but the quality was a bit poor. That was why. All right, so he made an observation. Maybe you understood what he said. Yeah. Okay, what do you have to say about that? I've made presentations to Lassa okay. about the cost of all the structures, all the rates. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And um, like last week, the MD of Lassa visited the secretariat oh, who visited me. That's Mr. And, who? Uh, that's uh, Judge, Judge Noah. Noah, Noah okay. Uh, yes, who's uh, also um, a media member? person, yeah, advertising okay. mm -hmm. person. And uh, he said he's going to look into all the rates mm -hmm. and um, see what he can do uh, to make it more uh, friendly. And uh, we, did like that <laughs> we did explain to him mm -hmm. what we're facing, that um, race, great court will actually help to encourage uh, clients Okay. to actually uh, come on board and out of home more than what we're feeling now. Okay. And uh, actually we have uh, either you are down or you are up. We don't have middle uh, people anymore, uh, mm -hmm. industries. Okay. All right. Um, I want you to look at um, areas. Before we conclude, we'll have to look at it again, those awards and all of that. But I'm more interested in taking this call that uh, came. Has it gone? All right. Hello. 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 Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. How are you? Yes. I just run into the program now. now and I had him talking about power. Power, yes. Yes. And I uh, said I had him saying that uh, if we, we can get a diesel running for uh, a power for 12 hours, it's allowed. Mm. And I believe it, it's possible. So I'm having a vision of something like that. So it seems like that you have to be in a in neighborhood, in a community, which you check the, the mega hat of people around there and build a kind of plant driven by generators running 12 hours. It's possible. So, are you saying it's more cost-effective or what? It will not be more cost-effective. It's going to be cheaper. It's going to be because cheaper. You, you, work with, you work that with your facilitator area and those people will be having a deal sale and collected by that same label with that plant uh, production power. That okay. is where they make their money and their profit. Okay, okay. All right. Thank you so much. I think... Uh, <laughs> Well, yeah. thank you very much for that suggestion. We will, um, after this, talk to Sony if we can get your number so you can come talk to us. Yes, in fact, a bit can you send us your number to 33923 right away so that they can call you back, all right? And uh, we have this caller again. Hello. 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 Yes, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's your name? I, uh, my name is Daniel. I'm calling from Ekoto. Okay, go ahead. I actually didn't get what he said when you started this presentation earlier, when you made mention of a million dollars, is he saying that to 
expand the billboard that mm. one might have to spend as much as that. That's well. Let him say it with his own mouth. <laughs> then, I, 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 I think I'm also very grateful today to the opportunity to talk to you. I, I heard much about you doing your last uh, birthday celebration. I think it's a real privilege to open up for you while I wait for his answer. Thank okay, you. who is you this time? Are you now, Kosoni <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you. God bless you. All right, yes, bye. Kale, yes. Well, bye. you're going to talk about gra graduating investment and cost. Mm -hmm. I didn't say a million for the smallest structure. Hmm. You see, if you come from a 48 sheet, it costs a lot of money. What I'm saying is the top of the range. Yeah, those massive the structures. Massive LEDs and digital boards can cost as much as a million dollars. And we have companies in Nigeria that have invested that much. Hmm. So Because they know what they have to because expect. Because they know what they're doing. Even the yeah. Unipole boards don't come cheap. Soil test goes into it. Substructure. So for resistance. For resistance, you also have to have, you know, your foundation bolts and all that designed mm. and accepted by a structural engineer before you now go into other aspects of it. Mm. These days, you just don't put anything that will fall day after tomorrow. It is, it is tested. Mm. That's it. So for whatever, even if it's the smallest of it, it doesn't come cheap. Okay. One more call. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? Yeah, great. Yeah, okay. Nee, calling back. Okay, Nee. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, just to talk about what you said now. Uh, I mean, the board that cost more than $1 million. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But also the return is huge. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, I saw the massive boy we see on Lake Air Express Road. It cost more than that. In fact, when I'm driving next time, I will look well. Because I said, man, I'm looking at a million dollars for brother. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah, they put a lot. The foundation, like the foundation of the structure. But, but you see, what I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that because that's the beauty of the growth in the economy that we talked about earlier. Yeah. You know, and with that, it means you can employ people. Oh, yeah. You can yeah. expand the economy. I can contribute meaningfully. The CSR that the lady talked about becomes yeah. easier to manage, I think. Thank and you so much, Ernie. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. So, sorry, Sonny. We yeah. also train people abroad. We take our managers, our middle-level people. Yes, because abroad. they have to know they the trade. Know. Wow, they that's true. And that costs money. It I won't does, lie to you. One flight ticket to lose. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm sure some of my listeners will be saying, Mr. Rabo, you are too uh, keen today about all these people. And, but the truth is, if we really want to look at it, you know, um, we, what we want is to understand how businesses work. Yeah. We've been hearing outdoor advertising, outdoor advertising. Let us know more about it. And I'm so happy that you made, it, made that a possibility today. And now we'll take a short break. No, can I take a break at five minutes though? No, I will end with that music, but let me take some more. Mrs. Chidi Ibian, I need to find out from you, you know, the areas again that, uh, for the, like the award, the event, just to, you know, I haven't heard your voice. That's why um, I want to put your voice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, yes. Um, let's take the sponsorship and All partnership right. for now. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. Responses okay. are becoming, but um, there's no gain saying that the situation of the, uh, the country, the economy has affected us so much. Hmm. So on that ground, let's take three levels of assistance we've gotten so far. Hmm. For sponsors, we have an Nigerian breweries, PLC, okay. Dan Gote, okay. Eric Air, ah. MTN, Promoceda, and our international associate, associate. Okay. Ruta panel. Then you're on the right track. So yeah. we're going to have a. Am I invited, by the way? Because, yes, uh, you are. Hold on first. <laughs> <laughs> and then for our partners. No, because I want to invite. Hey, go on. Yes, for our, our partners. partners. We'll uh -huh. have the Roma Rang. Okay. We'll have Movie Media, graphic project, which is called um, in Short Grapple. Okay. Invent Media, mm -hmm. um, Global Trend, MC and D for the securities. And then premium graphics. And on the media, we're glad to be associated with you, Inspiration FM. Classic has also been of immense mm -hmm. assistance. Okay. Beats FM, Niger FM, and Beats FM in Ibadan. Okay. And then we're expecting NTA to assist us at the day of the event. Very soon you'll be hearing our name too everywhere. Okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <first> Inspiration 92.3. <laughs> and then um, for our members who have been magnanimous enough to donate their sites. Yes. Yeah. Which you see around. Mm. We we'll start with Media Link, Charela Nigeria Limited, NAS, New Crystal, 
Claridge, Aha Media, Plural Media, Media Space, Azodo Nationwide, Outreach, KOK, Lookout Communications, Emotion, 21st Century, Luzo Media. We are so very grateful to these members okay. for being of immense assistance to us. Okay. All right. Um, so, was the passage? Uh, yes. Um, the grand one, well, not grand, well, they are helping a lot. Mm -hmm. We have Eco Hotel and Suits. All right. Yeah, okay. They are great partners. Fantastic. Too. So, this is the, what's the date again? Next week, Thursday, Next 15th, week, 15th Thursday, of um, 15th. April. Okay. 15th of May, sorry. May. <laughs> <laughs> Backwards. Yes. All right. So, Mr. President, we're rounding off. What message do you have? The message I have is I'm inviting um, all the expected dignitaries to please uh, be there and um, appealing to all these state agencies to understand that we're really doing uh, service to mankind, not only uh, to make money, but mm -hmm. giving people choices, opportunity for them to know that I can spend one naira here and the other place I can spend 50 kobo and still get the same uh, quality of uh, service. And also to let the government know that the black spots we're helping with the eliminated signs we're having now to eliminate them. Okay. Uh, in the U.S., uh, FBI gave an award to even outdoor association. Why? Because they partnered with them and whenever they're looking for anybody, they just put it on their screen and within seconds they see uh, the pe they apprehend the person. So that is part That's of what we want one. to do. That, yes. that would be nice. Yeah. That would be a way of fighting crime. Right. Yes. Yeah. Well, oh, you know, yeah. Just tell us who they're looking, give us the photograph, mm -hmm. and in one second, I give it to my members all over the country, it's it right. will show. And when they're seeing the photograph, anywhere the person is, they'll be apprehended. They might go dig ground into that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so we should know that we are really doing a lot. Yeah. Uh, and this multiple transition needs to be tackled uh, to help us continue to grow it, okay. like we have in Europe. Okay. Thank you very Good. much. Thank you. Yeah, Mr. Ademuleka. Sonny, I'm going, to, I'm going to lend my voice to bring back our girls. Thank you. And we're going to use our medium also to assist government okay. in fighting terrorism. Amen to that. We're going to have a special material after the event that will address bring back our girls. Yeah. Thank you very much. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that's a very solemn message. And the Inspiration 92.3 FM with Outdoor advertising association of nigeria we are singing with one voice to bring back our girls and oh please for god's sake if you think you have monopoly of life no you don't so whoever you are whatever you do and you think you can just take another man's freedom like that god is watching you